Hello dear students. Once again I am here Yota Bussar and today we are going to start our English 1 class and you are watching my channel Aryan Roy PM Make. Hope so till now the lessons that we have completed you have taken it by heart and you are reading and you are keep practicing at your home. And the grammar lessons that I am making for you that are already made that I shared with you that I made for you. Hope so you have liked it and the data, the some logic, some rules that I have made for you. Hope so you have noted down in your copies. And the grammar homework that you are doing also in an absolute way you are doing. And hopefully uh, the corrections that I am providing you, hope so you are taking also that. Besides this, if you have any doubt, feel free to contact. Okay, and uh, today the class that we are going to start that is from your book directly. Today I have brought the book um, for you, and uh, chapter is chapter three. So without losing time, I think I should start. I should start the class. So hope so, guys, you are ready. And uh, before starting the class, I will ask everyone just take the book in your hand with this. Uh, uh, take one pencil or the highlighter pen that you have that we use in our class, isn't it? So some uh, lines will be there that are very important that I will ask you to make it underline or highlight. So let's start the chapter 3. Okay, so today the class is about chapter 3. In the chapter 3 you can see in the screen the uh, totally today I have brought to you your book page, isn't it? Uh, so, uh, so let's start. And the class is about possessive pronoun and apostrophe. The possessive pronoun and apostrophe uh, exactly about uh, the possessive pronoun. What is that uh, about the pronoun class? I have shared with you the two times. Hope so. Uh, not only the possessive pronoun, so many uh, types of pronouns are there. There are 10 types of pronouns were there. Each and every pronoun about the definition, the examples I have shared with you. Hope so you have noted down. And among that number, among that 10, the number. I think uh, uh, near about the four or five uh, speakers doesn't matter, but the numbers means how many are there, the contents matters. Okay, among them, one pronoun that is a positive pronoun is here in your text that is about the positive pronoun. Positive pronoun, and beside this, the apostrophe here, they two are linked in a chapter. Okay, so throughout the chapter, we will try to find out the um, contradictions, some similarities. Okay, and throughout the chapter, we will try to discuss. First of all, what is positive pronoun? The information already we have the pronoun that shows the authentication, that shows the authority, that shows the position, isn't it? So let's start the chapter positive pronoun and apostrophe. So let's start. First of all, let me take my pen. You have taken your pen and let me take my pen also. Okay. So first of all, let's see. You have already learned that positive pronoun is used to indicate the position of belonging. So first of all, I would ask everyone, my friends, positive pronoun and belonging. These two words are very important. The, the two words that I have made underlined, the position and belonging, these two words also you should note it down. Okay, these two words are uh, these two words uh, are very important to understand about the positive pronoun and apostrophe. Throughout the chapter, we will discuss about these two words. Okay, the positive pronoun definition is what is really, uh, is written already. Positive case of pronoun is used to express the position of a pronoun on any person or thing. So, my dear friends, so you should highlight the um, word position once again. The uh, that I say to you the position word will come again and again in this chapter. Okay, position. So position we will do on what? The position we will do on the two things, the person or thing. That means it can be the living or non-living thing. So from here the little little the complexity will start. Okay. So position will show the authority will show on two things. The things are what? Number one is non-living, number two is living. For that reason, in definition we can see the person or living. So we should highlight the person on or thing. So the picture that is given in your book, you can see in this picture. In this picture also we can see the two things are there. So many children are there and one uh, building also is there. You can consider this with your school. So your school building is not living thing, but the students, the teachers, they are living thing. So the two things on, on to that. Okay. So now let's follow the examples. This umbrella is mine. Here, look at the word mine. The green book without cover is yours. I like the word yours. 
the new Honda Civic car is theirs. Highlight the word theirs. The school is ours. Ours. The dog is his. So here you can see the highlighted words are what? The highlighted words are mine, yours, theirs, ours, his. Look at the words very carefully. Some words are ended with s and some words are not ended with s. For example, the word mine, not any s is there. The word yours, s is there. So the positive pronoun example, it may have the ending with s, it may have the not ending with s okay and both are also dependent on the singular plural each and every uh, the rules and the contradictions everything i will discuss with you okay so for this so first of all we came to know about the positive pronoun what is that then after we saw some examples the five examples we saw of the positive pronoun the uh, examples were there like the mine yours theirs ours it's after this till now hopes we have understood after this now follow you can see that positive case of pronouns comes after verb in each of the sentences given above yes obviously if you follow the first sentence the umbrella is mine in this sentence the verb is what in this sentence the verb is is isn't it is is an outside verb the green book without cover is yours here also is auxiliary verb the new Honda car is, is, is also a river. The school is, is also a The dog is, is also a So throughout the five examples we have seen, the positive pronouns examples, they have taken place in a sentence after verb. Understood? For that reason in your book is written, you can see that positive case of pronoun comes after verb in each of sentences given above. Isn't it? Other than mine, all positive case of pronouns have s without an apostrophe at their end position. So you can see all the examples there were s ending. Okay, and except mine. Remember that no apostrophe is used with the positive case of pronoun. So in the positive case of pronoun, we have seen no any apostrophe was there. Simply take apostrophe is what? Simply take apostrophe is what? Apostrophe means one comma should be there over it. Okay, over head one comma will be there. You can see the examples are there like the mine, yours, theirs, ours, is the all there. Uh, there may be ascending, there may not be ascending, but the comma are not there. Comma is not there, isn't it? For that reason, they are not an example of apostrophe. So, for the second thing that we can know about the difference between the policy pronoun and the apostrophe. What is the uh, difference based on the comma? Positive pronoun doesn't carry any comma, but the apostrophe carries comma. Okay, slowly, slowly take. Then the after, remember that no apostrophe is used with the positive case of pronoun that I have said you. Then after, difference between positive case of pronoun and positive adjective. First of all, before defining this positive case of pronoun and positive adjective, I would ask you what is adjective. Also, the introductory class, then after the parts of speech and the definition, each and everything I have discussed with you, isn't it? So yes, so there we came to know what is adjective. Adjective is a describing word. Adjective is a describing word that describes. And adjective describes what? Obviously, quality or quantity. Quality or quantity, isn't it? So now let's see. Positive case of pronoun indicates the position or belonging of a person that we have read very before then after whereas positive adjective indicates a quality of a noun so the quality of a noun that we know that what is adjective adjective is a word that denotes a quality that we know nothing is new here as being in someone's position okay they talk different positions sorry they take different positions in a sentence so Positive case of pronoun and positive adjective. Positive case of pronoun and positive case of adjective. These two things in a sentence, their place is defined. Okay. So first of all, let's see the difference is what? They take defense position in a sentence. For instance, the positive case of pronoun comes after the verb. That means the first the five examples that we saw. Okay, just these five examples I am talking about. In these five examples, we have seen 
all the positive in uh, all, all the positive pronouns they have taken the place in a sentence just after verb just after verb here we can see and that i have discussed uh, very before and now positive adjective place is what where the positive adjective comes before noun before noun in a sentence so here we came to know the positive case of pronoun and the positive case of adjective depends is what positive case of pronoun will come after verb and positive case of adjective will come before noun so let's see the examples the red umbrella is mine here you can see the positive case of pronoun yes after verb now give me my red umbrella here you can see the red umbrella my the word my is coming before adjective ready sentence to here the house at the end of the lane is theirs here you can see the position at the end after for the positive case of pronoun and the last number for example their house here you can see the word their this word is coming before noun is at the end of the lane possessive adjective because this word there this word there is describing the house whose house is there their house so throughout this for examples we have made a very good we have made a very good differentiation between uh, the positive case of pronoun and positive case of adjective simply take my friends uh, very simply for example the positive pronoun will come in a sentence after verb and a positive adjective will come in before noun in a sentence hope so till this is completed and any problem no doubt yes your brain is working very nice hope so you are in the class then after maybe we go to the second page for yes we may go are you ready guys so let's start the page then after apostrophe we are going to know about the apostrophe what is what is apostrophe that i said we before uh, take it very simply one comma should be there okay one comma should be there so for example an apostrophe is used to indicate position or belonging of a noun in a sentence an apostrophe is also used in the positive case of noun it is a punctuation mark very similar to comma but it is used at the top of words that i said you at top of the words so this uh, is very vital here um so take it out uh, let me take my pen for example this one that i will show you later let me take my pen yes so um that i said at the tip at the, at the top of the word so you can see the poise where is the comma at the top and the poise also here one thing i should say you that here you can see the two words boys and boys Okay, the number one boy, but accent is same. Boy is boy. The first one, the boy. Here you can see this example is what this example of the singular, but the boys is plural. So that means the apostrophe we can apply for the singular and plural both for. But number one, number two. Whenever you are applying for singular, then directly comma and then s. Okay, but if you are applying for plural. Then only comma no s after the plural word of that particular noun. Then only comma no s. You can see of the second example for boys b o y s apostrophe. But after that we have not written any s. Can you see? So this is a difference for singular and plural use for. We will come to know more about that after that. It is used either before or after the letter s. Yes, we are talking about not s. We are talking about the comma. The place of comma is what. the place of comma is just before s or after s before s when when this is singular for example you can i would like to show you something more that if you if you see here the example this uh, boy i'm talking about boy okay and so if you make it uh, apostrophe if you want to add simply you know nothing i am saying you but i would like to say you that um, there you are writing this s after comma so i have written the s after comma means after apostrophe s and if the for plural if you write then you are writing this s well before s that is the main thing that here this is saying saying that before or after the letter s so we are giving the comma the position of comma is what here before s here after s also till now 
and this much you have understood. After this, the one used a before s denotes position of singular noun, while the one used after s denotes position of a plural noun. That I have said you for singular and for plural. For singular, we will keep comma and then s, and for plural, that should be s ending. I will keep only comma, but after comma, if you write s, this is wrong. So I should not write s. So my answer should be, for example, boys. This is plural. If I want to add apostrophe, I should keep there comma. I should keep there comma. Okay. Okay. Then after the next slide. Now examples you can see. The boy's ball is new. Here the number of boy is one. Ball of one boy. Then the boy's ball is lost. Here the number of boys more than one. And you can see ball of many boys. Number three. The child's uniform is dirty. Number of child is one. And the children's school is closed today. This is the more than one children. So the one question is your mind. Said that you say for plural I should add only apostrophe and after that I should not write any s. But in the case of children, we can see the children is an example of plural noun. But after for making here this apostrophe after giving comma then s also we are writing why. Yes, very good question in your mind. Now let me give you the answer. Answer that there are also one thing you have skipped. The one thing that I showed you. That is about the one s ending should be there. You can see for boys s ending is there for plural, but the children though this is plural, but s ending is not there. Can you see any s ending? No, there is no not s ending for that. Is in the general rule that we had or that we know the same thing we have applied for the children. Also you have understood. So now the two uses of apostrophe in English grammar are to show position of a noun, to contact pronoun or verb. As she will in place of she will. Here, one thing we have come to know more about in advance that the apostrophe it is used only for position of belonging. No, it is used also to make a combination with the subject and verb, especially auxiliary verb. Okay, especially for auxiliary verb. So I would like to show you. Uh, highlight should be there. Uh, for example. She will. Here also we have used apostrophe not for belonging for the she will. That means the combination of subject and verb. So this is that you know. Let me show you that she will. That means this is she plus will. She plus will equals equals to she will. Is it? So here this is. She subject and will is an example of auxiliary verb. So this is the main thing. So now the two columns for differentiation is given there. You can see apostrophe with positive case of noun. You can see Raghas not s ending for that reason. And Raga is also singular noun. Now cows, childrens, men, fathers, all there you can see use of apostrophe. Okay, all the use of apostrophe you here you can see, but in the case of we, this is not uh, showing the position. This is showing the subject part agreement, the combination of subject part we have. That means we have, and I am. I am means I am. They had. Okay, this also they would also. They would. You are. You were also. We may use in past tense. Okay, he is and he has also sometimes for perfect. So these are the things that we have learned till now. The use, the uh, use of apostrophe uh, that may, we may also use for the subject plus auxiliary verb that condition for. After this, may we go for the next? Yes. Okay. After that, the next page uh, that is the apostrophe is used before or after. Exactly what is that? This is the use of apostrophe. Of positive case of noun. Now we are going to know the use of apostrophe with positive case of noun. How we can use? So simply take it very simply that to show relation or to show authority, to show belonging, to show position, we use apostrophe number one. Number two, how we should use? We should use apostrophe by giving a comma then s. 
for singular and plural for also if for plural if there is no s ending but if for plural s ending is there then i will give only comma no extra s there okay so let's see apostrophe is is uh, apostrophe is used let me take my hand again okay again apostrophe is used before and uh, before and after s that the concept we have already for example radha's boys she means the radha boy swami swami all they three are number in one singular example so now number 2 you can see rooms and the countries boys these three words are example of plural plural pronoun for that reason you can see rooms only apostrophe no extra s countries plural for and s ending also only comma boys plural s ending with then only comma so now number this uh, this is completed this is completed now this for a noun of plural number which doesn't have s that for example the example you can remember about the children yes there was no any s ending for that reason we gave a comma then after we added one s also there we can see options then we can see children's and this also men's all these examples we cannot see any s ending for that reason we are given comma and then after we have given the s also this part also complete okay now for a noun especially the one used as title for example the title of a book like that also which consists of several words in a over in a title of a book so many words can be there the possessive case of form by adding an apostrophe and s in the end okay the end word will be there so many words can be there the last word will carry the apostrophe for example the governor of india the governor of india how many words are there one two if you count the uh, Uh, preposition then also three then india four the four words are there the last word is what india so india will take the apostrophe here you can see the india so apostrophe doesn't mean that the, all the words will take the apostrophe only the last word will take the apostrophe then after the president of usa here you can see the usa has taken a apostrophe the principal in colleges here you can see only the last word has taken the apostrophe so till now we have come to that if the title of a book the title of something the title of uh, the designation the last word will take only the apostrophe responsibility all the words middle words last word will not take okay then after then after some contradictions will be there the contradiction should be there it will clear our logics so now for two nouns if two nouns are uh, connected with the conjunction and then also the previous uh, logic that we have uh, that we just learned that same logic we will apply here the second noun will take a responsibility for example you can see the manu and sona so you have not added uh, you have not added their the apostrophe with the two words each isn't it manu has not taken apostrophe you can see here but the sona has taken a apostrophe and mr das has taken an apostrophe the first word man no apostrophe mr sharma no apostrophe so the second word will take the apostrophe if they are and conjunction also there and like, like and or or the other conjunction like but that means if conjunctions are there between the two nouns and if you want to add apostrophe for the situation for for the reason you will have to add the apostrophe with the second then after correct use of apostrophe with positive case of noun after knowing all these the rules logic sometimes we do mistakes the mistakes are what the which types of mistakes we do and uh, in the in future upcoming time whenever you will sit for the uh, some uh, complete exam to get the job isn't it so there you may face some problems also so in your book some logics also are there some examples are also there so we should uh, learn them by heart also okay then after so let's see Uh, correct use of apostrophe with possessive case of noun so apostrophe is used with possessive case of noun to show position belonging of living nouns or and not non living nouns okay so the the, the first two examples nothing is being here that i would like to say that the my room's fan okay number 2 the shirt's button 
so you can see my room is non living thing my fan is non living thing if you want to add uh, uh, about the apostrophe you cannot do apostrophe with the non living thing so then what to do but but you want to show its relation with something so we should use some uh, preposition like of for example you cannot say the chair's leg you cannot say the leg of chair the fan of roof the the preposition of you should use that be for example my room's fan it cannot be it will be the fan of my room the shirt's button no the button of the shirt of oh, the then so this also we have completed now apostrophe is used with possessive case of noun to show persons or belonging of nouns denoting the time space weight even if they are non living thing now it's a conclusion it's a very important my my friends read the examples very carefully so in these three examples we are going to show the use of apostrophe with noun the nouns are non living thing but the sectors are selected what are they they are time space weight okay a small child can't carry 10 kg for a weight his school is hardly a kilometers distance space like i am going to spend my christmas holiday okay it's a time is set about so in these three cases we have seen that we are using apostrophe okay then after apostrophe is used with possessive case of noun to show position or belonging of the proper noun or noun denoting a trait profession or relations in order to indicate building or place of work profession so this last rule also is very contradiction so to read the examples that will clarify us more swami narayan's temple someone's authority okay is at the end of the lane that you can take simply but the bigger shop is like profession most students want to study in delhi universities college and this example is just for like a building purpose okay so this was the class hope so you have understood and you have enjoyed the video so take all the rules the where where you have a highlighted with your friends with me these highlighted portions are very important my friends so take the class very sincerely read the lesson once again and uh, do the exercise that i will provide you in next class yes my friends the next class is based on 100% for doing homework and for getting solution you will have to wait because uh, the next day is the class for doing homework and then day after i will provide you all the solutions of that so till then read the book once again take the chapter by heart and give me time to go to bring a new lesson for you and now the time is there to repeat the same dialogue if you have liked the video subscribe my channel like the video share it with your friends and press the bell icon to get the future updates and the time is there to say tata bye bye